Want to chat with some of your favorite cast members from Tollbooth? Catch us on the Tollbooth Live Show every Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern at Tollbooth Series on Instagram. Last time on Tollbooth. The answer is no. I'm not doing it. You know, I really wish we would have came to some type of compromise. I will let you walk right out that door. If you will stay away. Oh, dude. Elise, please. I have a job that will provide steady income, and you need to show the judge that you are more than capable of raising your own son. Lise, what's the call? Do it. I'll message you once it's done. Lisa. Lisa, wake up. Lisa. Lisa, wake up. Lisa. 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 Where are we? The cellar. God, how many damn rooms does she have? Elise loves her secret rooms. We gotta find a way out of here. That phone you used to call me doesn't have a charge. Let's try calling the police. There's no signal. Okay. There's gotta be another way. There aren't any windows in here. Oh, God. think it's gonna to happen to us. I'm not sure. She made me promise that I wouldn't go back to you. She had... You tried anyway. Yeah, I, I did. Why? It, Why? Because I almost killed you. I love you. Tammy, all we had was not love. That was control. That's not how I see it. Really? Really? You think that's all it takes? A kiss after all this shit you put me through. A kiss while we're being held hostage. That's gonna make everything better. Lisa, I love you. I'm sorry. Do you, for what? Do you even know for what? <laughs> that's exactly the problem. You apologize to pacify me. I have no, I have no idea the amount of pain that you have put me through. I, I don't, I don't know what you want me to say. I, I don't want anything from you. But when this is all over, promise me, promise me that you will stay away from me for good. Promise me. You fucking bitch. summarize the contents of these allegations for the court's benefit. We are here today to review a custody request for your son, Lucas, age six, by his aunt and your ex-sister-in-law, Colette Miles. 
In the case presented by Mrs. Miles, it shows that the custody arrangement between yourself and your late ex-wife, Karen Warren, was that she had full custody of your son, Lucas. As you were not fully employed, not making a steady income, nor able to provide a stable home for you and your son. At your court hearing with your late wife, you agreed to relinquish your parental rights on a full-time basis and agreed to weekend-only visitation. We're here today to revisit custody requirements for full custody by yourself against Mrs. Miles, who shows and proves to this court that the original concerns for you relinquishing your rights still remains. She alleges that you are still unfit to have full custody of your son. On such grounds and by the evidence put forth and presented before this court, I hereby grant Mrs. Miles full custody of Lucas Warren, age six. That being said, I want to remind you that we are all human beings and that we are not restricted to the boundaries of facts stapled together on a piece of paper. My courtroom is about hearing the stories about the people before it and making judgments that are in the best interests of all parties involved. And in this case, no one is more important and affected than a six-year-old boy named Lucas who just lost his mother. Mrs. Miles, I do not know you personally and can only base my opinions on the concerns that you have for your nephew and the fact that you're here today discussing his future. I cannot imagine that you would want him to suffer any more loss than he already has losing his mother. I can't imagine that you would want his broken little heart to hurt more by taking his father away just weeks after putting his mother in the ground forever. I can't imagine that you would want any additional hurt or loss befall upon the only remaining part of your sister. This man lost the mother of his child. This man lost the person he willingly gave his son up to to raise in his place. And no matter what you think of him today or in the past, it doesn't matter. Because he is the only parent your nephew has left on this God's green earth. You cannot and will not extinguish him out of his heart by taking his father away. So, Mr. Warren, that is the reason why this court's decision to grant Mrs. Miles full custody of your son is temporary. You have 30 days to find and show proof of employment and income. At such time, full custody will be granted back to you. 30 days, full custody granted to Mrs. Miles. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, I guess I better uh, start getting those, uh, those one eggs, huh? Maybe not. What do you mean? Tell me something. How good are you with filing and processing documents? Get on your knees. We no, won't say anything. Please. We promise. We promise. We promise. We promise.
Lisa. Lisa. It's time to go home. Want to chat with some of your favorite cast members from Tollbooth? Catch us on the Tollbooth Live Show every Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern at Tollbooth Series on Instagram.